From the first M1 to the powerful M5, here's the evolution of Apple's M-series chips. In November 2020, Apple launched its first M1 chip, marking the transition of Macs from Intel processors to Apple's own Apple Silicon, based on the ARM architecture. The M1 was designed to combine performance and efficiency in a single chip. It includes the processor, graphics unit, memory, storage controller, and even the neural engine. The M1 is manufactured using TSMC's 5 nanometer process and was first used in the MacBook Air, Mac Mini, and 13-inch MacBook Pro. It was later introduced in the iMac, 5th generation iPad Pro, and 5th generation iPad Air. It features a total of 8 CPU cores, up to 8 GPU cores, up to 16 gigabytes of memory, 16 billion transistors, and a frequency of up to 3.2 gigahertz. A year later, Apple introduced the more powerful versions, the M1 Pro and M1 Max. They were based on the same architecture as the M1 but were larger chips with more CPU and GPU cores, much higher memory bandwidth, and more unified memory. Due to their more complex architecture and increased performance, the M1 Pro and M1 Max required an active cooling solution to operate at full capacity without noise or overheating. Thus, the 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro models, equipped with the M1 Pro and M1 Max, featured a cooling system with two large fans and superior thermal dissipation. In March 2022, Apple took the concept even further by introducing the M1 Ultra, the most powerful chip in the M1 series. It is built by combining two M1 Max chips through Apple's UltraFusion technology, an ultra-fast internal interconnect that allows both chips to function as a single processor. As a result, the M1 Ultra delivers up to 20 CPU cores and up to 64 GPU cores, with a memory bandwidth of 800 gigabytes per second and support for up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory. The chip was introduced exclusively with the Mac Studio, which features a massive cooling system made from a large block of aluminum and two axial fans. Want more videos like this? Then hit the new hype button and help us grow this community. It's free, and it helps us a lot. Thank you. Also in 2022, Apple announced the M2 chip, built on enhanced 5 nanometer technology, bringing an increase of approximately 25% in transistor count compared to the M1 and a higher clock frequency of up to 3.5 gigahertz. The M2 was launched alongside the MacBook Air and 13-inch MacBook Pro, and later arrived on the iPad Pro and iPad Air of the following generations. The chip maintains the 8-core CPU configuration, but increases the GPU to up to 10 cores and doubles the memory bandwidth to 100 gigabytes per second, offering 18% higher CPU performance and up to 35% better GPU performance compared to the M1. The M2 Pro and M2 Max followed the same scaling model as the previous generation. The M2 Pro was integrated into the 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro and the Mac Mini, bringing a 20% improvement in CPU performance and 30% in GPU performance over the M1 Pro. The M2 Max, used in the same MacBook Pro models and in the Mac Studio, pushed performance even further, offering up to 38 GPU cores and support for up to 96 gigabytes of unified memory, with a memory bandwidth of 400 gigabytes per second. The M2 Ultra combines two M2 Max chips using UltraFusion technology with 134 billion transistors, 24 CPU cores, and up to 76 GPU cores, the M2 Ultra delivered top-tier performance in the Mac Studio and, for the first time, in the Mac Pro 2023 as well. As with the previous generation, M2-powered professional models used active cooling systems, customized for each design. In 2023, Apple announced the M3 series, introducing its first 3 nanometer technology. It debuted alongside the new MacBook Pro and iMac and later arrived on the MacBook Air and 7th generation iPad Air. The base chip, M3, integrates 25% more transistors than the M2 and runs at a frequency of up to 4.1 GHz. It retains the 8-core CPU configuration and up to 10 GPU cores, but introduces for the first time on Mac hardware ray tracing, mesh shading, and a feature called Dynamic Caching, which optimizes video memory usage in real time. In the same launch, Apple also introduced the M3 Pro, with up to 12 CPU cores and 18 GPU cores, used exclusively in the 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro models. Also, in 2023, Apple released the M3 Max. It brings more CPU and GPU cores, supports up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory with a memory bandwidth of up to 400 gigabytes per second, and features more than double the number of transistors. 
Although the graphical power increased significantly, thermal efficiency remains excellent thanks to the 3 nanometer manufacturing process and the active cooling system on the 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pros. In 2025, Apple completed the generation with the M3 Ultra. The result? 184 billion transistors, up to 32 CPU cores and 80 GPU cores, with support for up to 512 gigabytes of unified memory and a memory bandwidth of 800 gigabytes per second. The M3 Ultra was introduced with the Mac Studio. In 2024, Apple introduced the M4 series along with the iPad Pro. This chip is built on a second generation 3 nanometer process and includes 28 billion transistors. It features up to 10 CPU cores, 10 GPU cores, and a 16-core neural engine capable of performing 38 trillion operations per second. The M4 later expanded to the MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, iMac, and Mac Mini. The M4 Pro is a more powerful version with additional CPU and GPU cores and a memory bandwidth of 273 gigabytes per second. In addition to the performance boost, the M4 Pro introduces Thunderbolt 5 support, doubling transfer speeds from 40 to 80 gigabits per second. It is used in the 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro models and the Mac Mini. At the top of the lineup is the M4 Max, featuring 14 or 16 CPU cores and a GPU with 32 or 40 cores. Its memory bandwidth reaches 546 gigabytes per second, making it about 1.2 times faster in both CPU and GPU performance compared to the M3 Max. The M4 Max is used in the 14-inch and 16-inch MacBook Pro and the Mac Studio. Apple introduced the M5 chip alongside the new iPad Pro, 14-inch MacBook Pro, and Apple Vision Pro. Built on a third-generation 3 nanometer process, the M5 delivers a significant boost in both performance and efficiency, with a 15% faster CPU compared to the M4. The chip features up to 10 CPU cores and a next-generation 10-core GPU that integrates dedicated AI accelerators within each graphics core. This architecture provides four times greater AI processing power than the M4 and six times more than the M1, alongside up to 30% higher graphics performance and a 45% improvement in ray tracing applications. Its 16-core neural engine now works in tandem with the GPU accelerators to optimize AI-driven workloads, while memory bandwidth has increased to 153 gigabytes per second. On the Apple Vision Pro, the M5 powers the micro OLED displays at 120 Hz, delivering sharper, smoother visuals. From M1 to M5, Apple has made each generation more efficient, powerful, and intelligent. If you had to choose, which chip do you think is the most impressive? M1, M2, M3, M4, or the new M5? Let's talk about it in the comments. If you enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you give us a like and leave a comment, it really helps us out. Thank you.